Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist Man Defoe. Let me tell you about the time I bought weed in the Bahamas. It all started when we went on a carnival cruise. Me and my wife, we went about, mm, about 10, 15 years ago. I say about 13, just to, you know, even it out or be in the middle of that. About 13 years ago, went on a cruise to the Bahamas, carnival cruise, chilling. I'm on the Lido deck and I see a black dude up there. You know, we was like the only two black people up there. It was other black people up there, but he had dreads and gold teeth, gold chain, stuff like that. Stunner shades on. I knew it was one of my peoples, you know. So I make my way over there to him and we were sitting back, you know, just shooting the breeze. And I was like, man, it'd be dope. We had some weed on here, man. You know, so the thing we need right now. And he was like, yo, I got the weed. I just ain't got no blunts. And I was like, oh, I got some blunts, you know, because I knew I was going to find some weed when I got to the Bahamas. And it was like, how high? You know, that scene, you know, got weed, got blunts. It was just like that. We, you know, we we bonded. And we went back to my room and we smoked out, you know, and that was it. That ain't how I bought the weed, though. We got off the boat. You know, the first thing I noticed when we got to the Bahamas, I mean, the first thing I was thinking about when we get to the Bahamas, I'm thinking it's going to be like Brazil. It's going to be nothing but like light skinned people there. You know, it's, it sound like Bahamas. It sound like it's light skinned people there. But I was in culture shock, man. When I got there, I seen I got off the boat. First thing they do, they put a um a carnival type personnel. You know, he had the headdress on. He's still light skinned, you know, light colored, complected. So I'm sitting there like, okay. But soon we get off that boardwalk, it was nothing but black people. I was like, yo, what is this? I was in culture shock, man. I ain't trying to diss nobody land to say nothing bad about him, but it looked like we was in the hood. In the Bahamas. I'm looking like, yo, what is this? I'll tell you, I, like I was like literally culture shocked because I thought everything was gonna be light skin, Brazil, Bahamas. It sounded about the same, you know. But that, that, it, it was just crazy that situation. But we get to um take a cab. We you know get a cab. We finna go to the Atlantis. The first thing I noticed about the cab driver, they wore suits. They wear they they drive big old vans and stuff like that. But they all of them had on like three piece suits. This dude don't have one. I couldn't find the picture, but. They had suits on, but we was going to go to the Atlantis. He took us on a little tour to Atlantis, and it cost a lot of money to get up in there. And it's like $400 a night, a person to stay in there. Something like that. Outrageous prices. And when we get there, um, you know, we was looking at the stingrays and all that stuff. And my wife, she seen this woman. She was like, hey, y'all want to come, um, come on the beach? Just give me um, what $20 a piece. $30 a piece and I let y'all cross the gate, you know, the little, the rope. And we was like, what? You let us in here? And we stayed all day, man. But we picked up a little towel. She, we gave him a little $30. We gave him, you know, picked up one of them little green and white towels. And we just walked on on the beach. We was doing our thing, chilling. So it come down to it. Um, I seen the dude on the jet skis. And I said, I'm going to ask him for some weed. I know he looked like he had some weed. And this is a picture. This is a bad picture, but... I promise you, man, like 80 to 90 percent sure that this is the same exact dude right here that I try to buy the weed from. I, I promise you, man, I cannot cap on this. I think that's the same dude who works the ski dudes or the sea dudes, jet skis, whatever you want to call them. But he tried to charge me an arm and a leg for like a quarter bag of weed. He was like $60. I'm like, what? You got to be out your mind. So. I'm telling on you, bro. Um, get him for overcharging people. He tried to charge me like a tourist. Like I was going to get it, but I said, I, I just can't do, I can't pay them prices. So, you know, I'm chilling on the beach still doing our thing, me and my wifey. And I see these, um, people who work there, a whole group of them. No, no. I seen like one of them at first to work at the, the Landis beach resort. And I said, I'm finna go in there. I mean, I'm finna ask them. I'm like, yo, what's up? Where the smoke at? And what I'm saying, I know where it's at. And they took me into this room. I'm talking about, it was like, everybody who worked there at Atlantis was in this one little hut. Like, all the teenagers. Sit, these ain't the kids right here. But a whole bunch of teenagers sold me some of the best weed I ever had in my life. Well, maybe not the best weed because 
I just wanted it that bad. But we was in the Bahamas, and it was a crazy story, man. Like, the dude on the jet skis, he tried to pimp me, tried to play me. Tried to get me to spend $60 for some weed that I didn't even want. It looked bad. But, like, the, the beach towel people, the people who pass out the towels and stuff on the resort, they, like, all of them was teenagers. And I asked one of them, and he sent me to this little, like, a little shed or something on the resort. And, like, all the teenagers who worked there was in there selling weed. I promise you not. So, everyone that gets some good weed, go to the, <laughs> go to Atlantis, man. Just ask one of them teenagers there. And it's pretty cool, man. Big shout out to the black dude, man. He's from Orlando. His name Jelly Belly. If you ever go to Orlando, ask for Jelly Belly. I guess I don't know, man. I ain't don't ask, don't no don't run up on him, man. Don't run up on no black dude. He was he was a real dude, man. Like I said, he had gold teeth, dreads, braids to the back. When I seen him, I, I just looked at him, man. I said, oh, I gotta holler at him, cause I know he know where it's at. And it was like it was real cool, man. He had the weed, I had the blunts, we smoked. But then I got off that boat and I went to go find some more. And that's my buying weed in the Bahamas story. All right, let your boy, Heist Man the Foe, talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Peace. This is a dangerous group, is it? Groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back, and sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.